हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर साहिल कोहली कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट एट नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल गुड़गांव टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज़ द रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर एक्यूट स्ट्रोक द रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर एक्यूट स्ट्रोक आर बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इन टू मॉडिफाइबल एंड नॉन मॉडिफाइबल मॉडिफाइबल मीन्स विच कैन बी मॉडिफाइड और ट्रीटेड एंड नॉन मॉडिफाइबल मीन्स विच कैन नॉट बी चेंज so the most important uh, modifiable risk factors include hypertension which is blood pressure high blood pressure diabetes mellitus atrial fibrillation which is irregular fast heartbeat uh, heart disease whether it's a ischemic heart disease or a rheumatic heart disease and uh, cigarette smoking uh, dyslipidemia which is high fat content in blood and uh, problems with the arteries which is carotid arteries so these are the risk factors uh, which if known appropriately at a time can be uh, controlled and uh, the risk of stroke can be reduced however there are some other set of risk factors which are called as uh, non modifiable risk factors which include age like if somebody is uh, more than uh, 60 years of age or 70 years of age the risk factors of strokes are uh, high which we cannot modify so similar non modifiable risk factors include gender uh, uh, which is more com- stroke is more common and more common and more severe in females race the african american race has a high risk of stroke Uh, if somebody has had previous strokes then the uh, further uh, risk of stroke is more uh, patients who have uh, uh, certain diseases like sickle cell disease or they have a hereditary or familial tendency of uh, uh, high cholesterol or having uh, recurrent uh, strokes uh, but there is a good thing uh, that needs to be known that all these uh, um, risk factors are uh, controllable almost 80% of strokes can be prevented if the risk factors are controlled so what what needs to be done for the control of these factors uh, regular balanced diet uh, exercise maintaining a blood pressure See, there is a saying that uh, 50% of those who have high blood pressure do not actually get to know that they have blood pressure so the idea is to have to get regular checkups for blood pressure and maintain on medication to have normal blood pressure controlled blood sugar and if you have had previous strokes to continue blood thinners and do not stop them uh, without the uh, advice for a doctor and if somebody has a heart disease like atrial fibrillation or uh, ischemic stroke then to continue those blood thinners without uh, uh, without the advice of a doctor thank you